We got 6 a.m. Skyline Club. You made it. You're a little late. Show your white kit. Wait, let, let me see. So, <laughs> got the new white kit. The strategic black panels over the nuts. Yeah. But then it kind of accentuates the hips. Fat hips, baby. Huh? It this probably like makes a, me look huge, honestly. It looks like some childbearing hips. I look like, I probably look like the Michelin man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? Hey, best part of this kit? What? What is it? Pull up the back. Swap mode alive on the ass? Yeah, now I'm front, 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 front. Boom. Yeah, good. Gotta put your sponsor plug in there for the vlog, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Donnie's son. You got your bike all cleaned up, it looks like. Yeah, now you can really see the purple. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so I messed up. I didn't have any chain lube and I put uh, like dirt, dirt bike chain lube on there. So mine's all gunky. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going extra slow. Does your rear cassette look like a pine cone? Yeah, it does. It does look like a pine cone. Renee, you ready to freaking do this thing twice or what? Yeah, dude, it's a program. <laughs> Check it out, Beavis. This better not suck. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got some something exciting today. Uh, we're actually headed to Jay Clark's house right now. Um, I just got a text from him. Uh, they got some parts in for the two-stroke and we're gonna start putting it together. So yeah, a little bit about the two-stroke. Um, last update was we got the frame powder coated, um, redid all the bearings, all that stuff. And we got handlebars, we got a couple miscellaneous parts and I think we got all the engine parts together or we got all the engine parts uh, this week so we're gonna start putting it all together and it's gonna start to form like a dirt bike uh, we ordered graphics and all of that but we just don't know what my number is gonna be yet because um, I'm obviously gonna be running my new number at, at straight rhythm so yeah sort of just uh, I think we're waiting on a few more things like wheels and you know like the hubs the wheels the sprockets stuff like that but uh, other than that we have all the engine parts I believe we have the frame is all done uh, we have handlebars triple clamps suspension um, so yeah I'm excited to see it this is the first time I've seen it since they did take the bike and start to work on it um, so yeah I'm excited I'm excited to show you guys as well what we're gonna be racing at Red Bull straight rhythm here in a few weeks All right, so we have the frame here. We're about to throw in the races, get the triple clamps going, and uh, oh yeah, the frame stickers, huh? We got bolt hooking us up. We're gonna have all new bolts on this bike, and yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be off a while. But we also have some parts over here. We have all balls. We have some uh, bearings, uh, pretty much for the whole bike, and then we have uh, new cables. Um, this is the air box that came on it gas tank front brake and swing arm we're gonna be like cleaning this up and putting some new stuff in it and then uh, we got some stuff from works connection like uh, clutch levers um, hour meter uh, frame guards some cool little trinkets and then uh, we have some titanium foot pegs these things are actually really cool super light and uh, yeah, so those are pretty cool, I think. Race, and then, uh, oh yeah, boom. The race for the race. A lot of people don't change these. They think they don't need to change them. They need to change them <laughs> on an 03. <laughs> Definitely on an 03. We don't have the newest bike, but we'll have one of the trickiest, that's for sure. Putting the just pulled it out of the freezer so it makes it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Is 
Boom. Nice. You hear that dead sound and then it's set. Oh yeah. All right. They did a good job on the frame. It's like a That's San Diego powder coating. San Diego powder coating. So what is it? Is it matte or? Yeah. Yeah. Man, that thing looks sick. All right, guys. So Jay has me running around the block. Uh, I guess the guy. There's a guy down the uh, down the road who put the engine together. So we're gonna go pick up the engine now, and. Uh, I think they're gonna show us a little bit of like the parts that they replaced because I haven't seen this engine yet and hoping it looks good. The engine in and it looks really good. We got some V-Force reeds and uh, they cleaned up uh, the head and the cylinder. Everything looks sick. Got a new clutch. Um, I guess here, here's some of the old gears that they replaced that were worn out. And uh, yeah, so you know this bike, this bike is gonna be pretty much brand new. So uh, straight rhythm, here we come, baby. Like you just seen, uh, we just picked up the engine, and I got her a little buttoned up for safety because we're driving. I got her in the front seat, and uh, yeah, man, I'm. This bike is is coming together better than I expected, and uh, and quicker than I expected as well. And uh, so thank you to everyone who's who's really helped with this build, you know, like Don Maeda, Swap Moto Live, Jay Clark, you know, um, they, they hooked it up. So yeah, everyone who has been um, a part of this build, and you know, I just want to thank you guys. It's, it's going to be great. Red Bull Straight Rhythm is going to be so much fun and I cannot wait to ride this thing. So uh, yeah, we're just going to continue to put it all together. Hopefully we get the engine in today, uh, suspension, uh, swing arm all that stuff all cleaned up and everything and get it rolling so we're just getting everything laid out right now all the new parts sort of the old parts that we're reusing stuff that we got to clean up and uh, all the bolts radiators stuff like that all of the that's some more parts down there all of this stuff is and here's some plastic we got uh, the poly sport restyle kit so it's gonna look like a like a modern bike and not an 03. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and we just got the top triple clamps on with the mounts, put it on the uh, on the frame, and then we got the engine back, which looks awesome. That thing's gonna be awesome right there. That thing's gonna go so fast. TMR. Tom Morgan, baby. He even put the date on there. That's a cool little thing. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like I have one. Uh -huh. We got the linkage on, got all the collars and everything in there, all lubed up, all nice. Um, I'm over here uh, cleaning on the engine, and uh, it's looking a little bit better. So, yeah, and we clean these up a little bit, just uh, motor mounts. And we got the suspension over here. Um, since this is Swap Moto Live, we got Enzo Racing and uh got ross doing the doing the suspension for us got the force got the shock here um this is set up for outdoors uh, my weight which is like 185 and this will not be the suspension that we're going to be running at straight rhythm but still really good and yeah so that's what we got so far Yeah. All right. So we got the bike on the stand. We got the swing arm on. Engine in. I don't. I obviously don't know. I don't know what's next, but I don't know. I would assume that it's something over here. It's probably the radiators, radiator hoses, some bolts, something. I don't know yet, but it's coming together nicely.
right guys, so just some of the parts that we took off of this thing. These are the the bar mounts and as you as you can tell they are a little bent both of them these were like laid back Lenny dude these things were rolled back heavy so what we did we got some new uh, we got some new bar mounts and uh, it's going good we got the engine in uh, Jay you want to tell me a little bit about the engine what we have in here so it rebuilt the complete bottom end we did have to get a few gears OEM gears that were scuffed up you saw some of those right yeah over at Brad's uh, he rebuilt it for us got all new bearings um, got a vertex piston in here Tom Morgan ported this thing and cut the head uh, give you a little bit more horsepower here is what we're hoping for got the V-Force reed cage full Henson clutch setup so it's gonna be heavy-duty uh, clutch action here so got all that um, those would be the key parts Oh yeah. To the engine build, the cylinder was in pretty good shape, uh, but uh, like I said, we still had Tom go through it and make make her rip. All right. So we got the uh, suspension button on. We just have the we have to disassemble these wheels and uh, get we'll get all new stuff with that. Oh, but, Bolt got us all new bolts for this. This was oh, really yeah. cool. Yeah, Bolt Bolt got us all new these engine bolts. Divot heads kind yeah. of cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All new bolts in the engine, which makes it you know pop. You know, makes it look really really good. So uh, we're just uh, getting this thing rolling. So we're putting the, the outdoor suspension on. This won't be the stuff that I'm riding with uh, for straight rhythm, but this is gonna be the suspension that we're doing the story on with Swap Moto Live. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you Ross for, uh, for valving this stuff up. We've got the forks, got the shock on, and the swing arm, all that stuff. So it's coming together nice. We're hoping to get it rolling today and then uh, start the next phase. Uh, you want to be like a little more slow so people aren't all sick when they're watching this nice video. Okay. All right. So let's go over this thing. We put this modern front end update kit from Polysport. It was not as, it's an A for looks, a C for fit. We had to do some custom drilling. They got their brackets, the custom bracket in here and a bracket up here you can check out. Right. And we got our works connection hour meter on here. We had to do a little bit of customized fitting, drilling, grinding, but we got it all to fit. We have new Galfer lines we're going to work on next time. Uh, in a couple days here, we're gonna finish everything up. So we ran, we got that stuff set. The foot pegs, no one makes cool pegs um, for, so we got these scar pegs. Here, check this out over here. So we were able to get these 2015 KTM scar pegs to fit in here. We flopped the springs around and you can see we're, we're pretty solid here. So we got wide pegs, cool pegs to fit here. Brake lines are set. Our main thing we're waiting on is the carburetor. We're waiting on the right slide. We're gonna put the carburetor in in a couple days here and we'll finish it up and be able to start it. But we'll be, we'll be rocking. Oh yeah. All right guys, that's gonna conclude this video. Uh, that's about as far as we're gonna get today. Uh, we just put the uh, old wheels back on. We still have to strip those and get new hubs, or not new hubs, new spokes and rims. But other than that, um, that's about as far as we're going to get today. And this thing looks sick so far. So, so I mean, that's, I mean. Oh, well, we got uh, V-Force, uh, Polysport Plastic, Enzo, of course, you already mentioned. Uh, it's going to be, have, of course, have Dunlops on it. We're going to leave these tires on while we start it and jet it the first couple runs. Mm -hmm. And then once we know it's running good, we'll switch, strip these off. I think W is going to uh, do these for us. Okay. And redo the hubs and make them all Sano with brand new rims and everything so you're good all right yeah like i said thank you guys for uh everything we have some galfer brakes that we're going to be putting on galfer what are we using galfer brake lines mm -hmm. galfer brake lines um works connection thank you guys for the perch um the cool little trinkets there um just everyone thank you all right so this concludes for this video and we will be back next week to hopefully finish this thing off or get it closer